Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're catching this. So I'm about to make a margarita, and as promised, I said I would share my new recipe. So this is how I make my healthy margarita. So first up, I'm gonna take some strawberries that I've already cut up. I've cut up all my strawberries. Um, I usually do this like so it's an easy snack for the girls, but also like if mom wants to make a drink, my fruit is already chopped, diced, whatever, whatever I feel like doing. Let's just go ahead. I would say this is probably like two strawberries. Two strawberries, super chopped up in like really small pieces. Next, I'm gonna take, um, I would say like a quarter of a lime. A quarter of a lime. I'm gonna squeeze that in there. I'm gonna do a little Squirt of my agave. This is the brand that I like. I'm sure that your grocery store or your liquor store might have like a different one, but I just really like this brand. So I do about a little squirt. Next, I'm gonna do two ounces of whatever tequila you have. I got this one as I showed before on my little liquor haul slash errands. The manager of the liquor store recommended it and I've had one drink and I really enjoyed it. I haven't tried it by itself, but I thought that the margarita was very smooth, so it is a, a yes for me. So two ounces of the liquor. I'm sure you could also do this concoction with vodka as well, but I like it with tequila. All right, so next you're gonna take a muddler, which mine is wooden, everyone's is different. It's just like a little smasher. If you don't have one, you could definitely use whatever you got. But this is just gonna like adhere the fruit together and then also mix up the sugar or agave and then all the fruit with the tequila. So some people do like the fruit and then ice and then their tequila, but I like muddling it with the tequila. I feel like it just makes the drink taste better. Um, maybe it's in my head, but this is how I've always made my healthy margaritas. It's just really refreshing. You don't have all that like, sugar from a sour mix or sugar from um, like a traditional margarita. And what I like about this is you use soda water instead of that sour mix and um, you're hydrating because it's water and there's no sugar in it. So the only sugar that you're really consuming is that agave, which is a plant. So next up, I'm gonna add my ice. And something I didn't mention before, sides of glass. It's all preference. If you wanna have a shorter glass with a stronger drink, I would say this is about a 12 ounce cup. Um, I like a lot of ice and I like, um, like just enough alcohol, fruit ratio, and then more mixer, I guess. Cause then I can make another one and I won't be like too strong, but that's just my preference. So next up, I'm just gonna top it with soda. And this is, oh, I forgot to mention. This is a grapefruit soda water. So I've tried it with lime, which makes it like really margarita-y, and I've tried it with raspberry lime, but this is my favorite. If you've ever had a Poloma, that is grapefruit, tequila, and lime juice. So also another like healthier margarita, but this one is my favorite. I had one of these last night, and I told Mike, I was like, the grapefruit soda water is my favorite yet, because it cuts the, the lime, and then it mixes very well with the tequila. So I'm doing this very non-classy way because it's just what's on my counter. And now I'm gonna grab a straw. I love a traditional smoothie straw. Um, then my fruit's not getting stuck in my straw if I have like a skinny one. And that's it, it's literally that simple. Um, it's really good for like a summer drink because it's light, it's not sugary, it's not um, heavy on your stomach with like bloating and stuff. But it's just so refreshing. So if you try it, let me know. Otherwise, comment your favorite cocktail drink below. I'd love to try it. Cheers. So before I forget, I wanted to make that espresso martini that I was telling you all about. So I got this in my stocking thanks to Santa. And all I do is infuse vodka with this little espresso martini concoction. It includes brown sugar, sugar, roasted coffee beans, and coffee powder. So I have to empty this continents into, continents, empty this continents of one tube into a jar. Man, I couldn't spit that word out. Um, and then I'm going to add three cups of desired alcohol. Three cups! <laughs> Stir well, 
and let it sit for 48 hours. I'm not drinking it all in one sitting. So I'm gonna let this sit for 48 hours, but let's go ahead and mix this up and see what it looks like. So I am using this cold brew little container that I got from Pampered Chef, one of the Pampered Chef parties I attended. And I'm just gonna infuse it in here. I figured it's big. If I wanna mix it up during that 48 hours of it sitting, I can. Okay, so good. All right, so we'll pour that in there. Brown sugar, I'll have to scoop it out. Smell the coffee, it smells so good. Sugar, brown sugar, almost everything. There she is. All right, next up is the vodka. I'm gonna go ahead and pour three cups of that. And we still have some left for another cocktail. Woohoo! Mix that. See, this is perfect. Like, I have enough space to mix it. And in the refrigerator she goes. In the refrigerator she goes. Stay tuned.